My name is Jane Lavasio and I live right now in New Jersey. My husband Jeff is from Walpole, Massachusetts. I met him in school in Boston and then we moved to New Jersey and I've been writing children's books now for about six years and there's five books in the series and the series is based on my two real dogs, Casey and Bella. I go to schools and I speak to children and my whole goal and purpose of speaking to children is to teach them to believe in themselves and encourage them to know that they can pretty much make any dream come true if they do three things, which is believing in themselves, having a positive attitude, and staying in school. And my purpose for that is because I know at a young age it's so important to build self-esteem. I myself was very insecure as a child, so my goal is to teach children to believe in themselves. So I've been to over 300 schools. I don't charge for author visits because I want every child to have the same opportunity and not limit a child because of the school budget or because of their situation and spread the word and spread the message. And the main thing that keeps me motivated with my book series and the main reason I started the book series is because I want children to know that they are authors, they could become published tomorrow. And not only can they become published tomorrow, but I actually give each child a bookmark when I visit school, and on that bookmark is my email address. So if a child has a story and they want to become a published author, they can email me and I'll send them exactly a step-by-step -step process of how to become published, as well as a list of publishers, because I want them to know that I believe in them and they should believe in themselves. Each year I do a national writing contest for third, fourth, and fifth graders where children get to come up with their own Casey and Bella adventure. So for example, Casey and Bella go to Hawaii was last year's winner and the student who is from New Jersey was Lacey Hickey. Her story got published as the next book in the Casey and Bella book series. I then expand the story, make it rhyme, have it illustrated by my illustrator and published by my publisher, Big Ten Castle Bridge Books, and then the book is sold in stores at Barnes & Noble. The whole purpose of this is for the child to become published and whoever wins gets their very own Barnes & Noble book signing to launch their book. At that book signing, the child runs the show. He or she who wins gets to do all the book signings. I just sit there to support the child and I bring the real Casey and Bella dogs as well. So when I go to schools, my main message to children is that they are authors. They can make any dream come true if they believe in themselves, stay positive, stay in school, and annually each year a child does become a published author. This recent year, the winner is Anna Stover from New Hampshire and her story, Casey and Bella Face Their First Bully, was an amazing story because we all know bullying is such a horrible, horrible, horrific event. And so her story is going to bring light to um, how to respond to bullies. And I'll be celebrating not only Anna Stover and winning the contest, but all the children authors who entered at a Barnes & Noble book signing Saturday, June 18th in Barnes & Noble Walpole. And the fun part is, is I'll have the real Casey and Bella doggies there who are in the book series because that's what makes it fun is children get to meet the actual dogs. Casey is a Jack Russell Terrier and Bella is a teacup Yorkie and they love children and I even bring a bag of dog treats so that children can feed Casey treats and she'll do a bunch of tricks for them. I appreciate the opportunity to go to schools and any school out there that would like a free author visit is welcome to contact me anytime and I even donate a set of all five Casey and Bella books and a set of Casey and Bella toys to each school that reaches out to me so that their school can benefit for the children to be able to know that they can become published and read the book series and I'd be happy then pay a visit to the school. Also all the Casey and Bella books are being aligned with the Common Core standards for the curriculum for Lexile Benchmark as well as DRA and GRL so that all the books will be leveled and if any teacher out there has a question or a Board of Education would be happy Can reach out to me anytime and I'll send you a set of books. In this day and age it is with all the technology I know it's difficult to keep kids from playing the video games and from going on all the websites. The best thing a parent can do is to have you know a story time with their child, encourage their child to do writing contests and just actually have a, a time where you sit down and have your children be creative and come up with stories and ideas for the family, maybe for their younger siblings, because we all know how exciting children are, how excited they are to share their ideas. When I do visit schools, it's unbelievable how many children will raise their hand and say, well, what about Casey and Bella go to Disney World, or Casey and Bella go to Ice Cream Land, or Casey and Bella go to Candy Land? And it just shows you that children are so creative, and instead of sitting down in front of a computer and playing a game or going on the internet, 
that if they have that influence to be creative like we were when we were children and I think it's much better for the child's imagination and when a child has a big imagination anything is possible so for parents I know it's not easy but you know the more we can encourage our children to do reading and writing and be creative I think the better off they'll be.